Cubs Eagles. They're looking pretty darn good. They beat the Pack on Saturday, who are one of the teams to beat in the NFC. Now maybe there's a role reversal. Sam Bradford was a perfect 10 for 10. 120 yards and three TDs, and the Eagles as a team, not so shabby either. Going 30 of 40 passing, 314 yards, five TDs, zero picks. Fly, Eagles, fly. On a scale of one to 10, Shannon, what is your confidence level in Sam Bradford? His ability or to stay healthy? Both. To stay healthy or two? His ability, seven. Because I have yet to see him stay healthy. Um, he throws the ball. He's always been very accurate when he's been able to be on the field. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't put any stock that he's going to stay healthy now. He was complaining that Suggs, you know, everybody was complaining that, you know, he went. So what do you think is going to happen when, and I get, you know, Jason Peters is one of the top three left tackles in football. And, but, you know, tackles do get beat occasionally. Mm -hmm. What happens then, Skip? Mm -hmm. I, I just tell me. I just don't have the confidence that he can stay healthy for an entire season because I have yet to see it. Back-to-back -back ACL injuries, I just don't see it, Skip. But I think if he can stay healthy, and I, help, I hate prefacing anything with if, mm -hmm. but if he can stay healthy, i like them to win this division. Okay, but in the previous topic, you went on record and you picked them to win the NFC East, right? I mean, Molly asked you, you said Eagles. I believe Sanchez can come in and, you do? It, it, and beat your team. No. The ultimate, whoa, 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 wait. The ultimate accident waiting to happen, who is Mark Sanchez, can beat my Cowboys when it matters most, which is in December in Philadelphia like last year? Fran Seriously? Fran Tarkin completed five passes against y'all in that Saturday game. Fran Tarkin? Yeah. The team was 24-27 against y'all. He yeah. threw five passes for completion. Fran Targeting was pretty great. Man. Yeah, he, and yeah. he completed five okay. passes at 70 against y'all. Oh, yeah, at 70. <laughs> okay. Taking it back to So, start. I'll just answer your original question before I tear into his argument. Oh, but okay. My confidence level in Sam Bradford, both ability and mm -hmm. durability. And he went to, you, okay. he went to, you, you love I, Oklahoma. I'm about to talk about that. I know what I'm talking about. Mine's at a two. I'm on a two. Scale <laughs> okay. of one to ten, I'm at a two. For both. Which is why I'm picking my Dallas Cowboys to win the East. We got Romo. You got Bradford or Sanchez or Tebow. Stop. I, I don't See, know. Now, now okay. I got to change what? my pick. I think okay. I might go with the Redskins. You mentioned that last guy. Yeah. I think I'm going to go okay. with. Well, he he's still there. Come on, Eli. Okay. Yeah. Give Eli some love. Eli ain't got no help. Okay. Now, back to the Eagles. I, I'm, you, you set it up, with, and I've tweeted this every night they have played. As a Cowboy fan, I'll say it again. This is what I tweeted the other on Saturday night. The Eagles look scary good. But I always finish my tweet with, but who's the quarterback? I did. I watched every snap Sam Bradford took in college at the University of Oklahoma because I was born into the tradition and I watch every game and I can't help myself. And Sam Bradford constantly let me down. When I needed him most, he wasn't there. He is he a left college hurt. Okay. Well, he was three years and he lost to that guy named Tebow in the national championship game. Harvard. Right? What about Percy Harvin? Huh? And her name, look at all the guys okay, he had. Well, the quarterback was this guy named Tebow. He had somebody had to throw them the football. Percy like, Harvard and her okay, name there was Murphy. That's fine. That's fine. But Tim Tebow, remember the speech he gave at halftime? It's the scariest speech I've ever seen. When he looked into the camera, we're going to take the football. We're, we're going to go out there and run it down their throats. And they did run it right down my That was no throat. Churchill speech, yeah, okay? Yeah, okay. I think he was. Stop it. By the yeah. way, I what think it was. What is going on? Okay. So here's my point. Sam Bradford is a straw man in the pocket. When he gets any pressure, he, he's a basketball he player. Does. Okay, I will agree okay, with you. Right? That. He was a really good basketball player in high school, and he kind of plays like a basketball player, like a, a, a sort of a thin, willowy basketball player. Gets a little bump here, and, and he just starts falling apart. And he could not stay healthy in college. He had one shoulder thing after another shoulder thing, and now he's got two big knee things that he's coming off of. So do I trust that going forward he can stay healthy? I, I don't wish it upon anybody, but history tells me going back into college, he cannot stay healthy. And the history of Mark Sanchez tells me he will stink it up when you need him the most. He just will. He always has. I find it funny that you say Sam Bradford cannot stay healthy. But Darren McFadden hadn't stayed healthy. Sean Lee hadn't stayed healthy. They're not quarterbacks, though.
but they, okay. they I know, but that's the, the that's the position. So I, I I think because they'll have limited action, the quarterback is going to play every offensive snap, unless of course they use Tebow and gimmick. Well, 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 hopefully they don't run that read option a whole bunch with okay. Sam Bradford, well, and but, it would limit you know his hits. I think he will run some read options. No, he and, can't. He can't. Well, well he can. He can. Well, skip. they need him in that offense. Nobody runs the the spread the read option like Philly does. Last the last two years they were the runaway read option winner in the league. They just ran it to death. But the Baltimore was it, Ravens, 515 plays? The Baltimore Ravens gave you the blueprint of how to take that spread okay, option that's away. That's fine. But that read you, option. You, if, if it's the, the, the key component of your offense, if, if Sam Bradford is your quarterback, every once in a while he has to keep the ball. I wouldn't worry about him keeping the ball in the, the option. At least you can see what's in front of you and you can slide mm -hmm. and you have the rule is on your side. Just get down and they can't hit you. I would worry about Sam Bradford standing in the pocket in case Jason Peters gives up that one blindside sack that could do him in. That's hey, what I would worry about. You know on the read option. They tell you to punish the quarterback. They do. We'll give up a 20-yard run, okay. but we want to de deter, deter them from running that play again. Okay, but if, if the, you notice, they didn't run that okay, anymore. But if you don't honor Sam Bradford on the mesh point, if you just at play after play, you crash down on the ball carrier, one of those times he's going to pull it back and keep it for seven yards before somebody touches him to the left. He can do that. Just give, hey, I don't care. I'm telling you, Sproles, let Sproles get hit. I need one hit on Bradford. Mm -hmm. I want to deter them from running that okay. play. All and right. you get that one hit on him, and you already said it. He's paper mache. Mm -hmm. Two knee injuries in consecutive mm -hmm. years. He had a shoulder injury coming out of college. We already know he, he's not okay. good of much. So, back to you. Scale of 1 to 10. What is your confidence level in picking the Eagles to win the East? 1 to 10. Where's your confidence level? 4, 3, 2, 6. 6? Yeah, but the Cowboys are at a 5. So well, Cal that's so, not much. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And that's what. If you look at look at this division though, uh, 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 Skip. Okay. Look at this division. Okay, but you only really, it really, when you really think about it, Romo got great offensive help. The Giants can't run the football. The Redskins are a mess. The Phillies quarterback is is is, a, is somebody blowing on him from being out Thank for the you. entire season. Thank you. So. I had to pick somebody, okay. and I'm taking the Eagles. Okay, you had to pick somebody. That's not a very convincing pick. No, to me. no. I'm taking the Dallas Process Cowboys. With no but that's your team. I, no, it, I, there have been many years on the show when I haven't picked him because I've been so down on what Jerry's doing with the team. Uh, Tony Romo has come of age as a man and a football player. He's grown up before your very eyes the last two years. Football became more important to him than golf. Well, he quit playing golf because of his back. He couldn't play anymore, and I agree with you. He, the last couple of years, he's been, uh, you know, the last three or four, he's tried to, to qualify, qualify for the US, US Open. Open. Exactly. Are you kidding me? You're a quarterback. It's time to play quarterback. The great one, finally committed the to The great one, Skip, me. you know this, you've yeah. covered football as long as I've been alive. The great ones, football is the most important thing. And, and I think it's Everything become takes that a second. to Tony Romo, which is why I believe you. Dallas has the best quarterback I in the division, and I do respect Eli, but I think Romo has taken it up Another level for me. Okay, Eli what's has. your scale of one to ten for, for the Cowboys? <laughs> for the Cowboys winning it all, your scale of one to ten. My confidence level. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, just the East. We're just talking yes, about the just East, the right? East. Ten. Stop it, Skip. Oh, ten. Stop ten. it. Oh, oh man, this is Skip. Ten. I'm skip. a ten. Skip. You can't even say that with a straight face. I, I just did. He's a 10, like Sam Bradford, 10 to 10. And yeah, we know availability oh, is the goodness. best ability. We got to move on, gentlemen. <laughs> it has been a wild week in Washington. Have we seen the last of Orgy 3 in the nation's capital? Jeff Saturday will join the desk with the answer.